adventurers, explorers, and investigators. This is a YouTube experiment. We have a fancy time clock. This video is 10 minutes long. Please keep watching if you can. Uh, even if you just walk away and let it run, make a sandwich, go use the restroom, call a friend. We're hoping that everybody will just kind of watch it through. Uh, we are hoping to show how a YouTube system works. If you are a new creator or thinking about how to start, we hope this will give you some helpful information. Many of you know that starting to mo a monetized YouTube channel needs two things. Two things to get monetized. Um, you uh, need 1,000 subscribers and you need 4,000 public view hours. So, reading the forums, reaching 4,000 public view hours is traditionally very difficult, very difficult. And we're hoping to find a way to help with that. Most creators really struggle here unless something goes viral, um, but that's rare, but we're often very optimistic about it happening. Hey, um, Cap, Cap, uh, the words are coming down. My apologies. Sorry about that. Captain Skeleton came highly recommended. He's been in the industry a long time. Here's what we're looking at. Take this video. It is 10 minutes long. So, six viewers would have to watch it completely to reach one hour. But we need 4,000 hours. 6 times 4,000 is 24,000 viewers watching the entire 10 minutes. How many will actually watch your video end to end? If they only watch 5 minutes, now we need 48,000 viewers. Very, very challenging. How do we do that? Is the video entertaining? Is it fun, exciting, educational? Is it in the viewer's interest? What if no one's interested in what I'm doing? Will they also like, subscribe, and share? What if we advertise? All these things kind of work together. Here's what we hope to demonstrate. We hope to, we have picked a subject of interest, YouTube views. We hope 10 minutes is not too much to watch. We do hope you guys watch it all the way through. We will post on our community page performance graphs, and the link is provided below. We will also do follow-up videos and demonstrations. We plan to let this video run for about two, three weeks. Then we will advertise on our social pages and on our blogs. Then we will, at about four weeks, we will advertise using YouTube ads. And you will be able to see what happens at each step. We will also set this video to Creative Commons open license. Anyone can reuse and repost this video if you want to torture your viewers. Sorry. Um, to help this experiment, please like and share. We hope to see how things go. Explorers Emporium, our store, is a brick and mortar retail. Explorers Emporium, we do tabletop role playing games, we do LARP live action role playing, we do woodworking, casting, molding, crafting, 3D printing. We love Renaissance Fair. And we also do community and school programs. Explorers and Prime has been around for about 10 years. My wife and I started out raising funds to build a children's museum, a uh, Castleworth Children's Museum, back around 1991. Ever since the very first day, we have always been in a desperate attempt to create enough cash flow to keep things going. 
Then the internet happened, and now we have social media. So we're hoping to take advantage of that. Um, hey, Cap, Captain, what, what's what's uh, what's going on here? Well, can we move it back over? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Thanks so much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Sorry, the first mate's family, what can you do? Anyways, retail brick and mortars have a 90% failure rate. How can we use the internet and social media to bolster our store stability? There must be a way to make retail work. Here's my thoughts. Addressing YouTube's algorithm. What I have noticed is that, especially when you are starting out, that algorithm knows nothing about you. You might get a thousand views, but only four people have an interest in what your video is about. Everyone else clicks away. <clears throat> so, if you have a 10 minute video, four people watched it, 996 people scrolled away. Your average view time is 12 seconds. It's not necessarily your video thumbnail. It's not necessarily how good or bad your video is. Your video was just introduced to a thousand people that wanted to watch cat videos, not awesome animes. Cat videos are really awesome though. The other part is all the YouTube help videos. They all are always saying, go to this area. What's popular right now? See what everyone else is doing. Copy them to be successful. Do what they're doing to build your channel. Just doesn't sound right to me. So there's a bunch of how to be successful at, political commentary, video games, giveaway specials, science versus everything, everything versus science, and that awkward clickbait thumbnail. Really? Come on. <laughs> Can we? Thank you. Much better. It seems YouTube trends towards monetized, not originality. So crafters and others can find space on YouTube, but not at the levels of the others. Of course, there are exceptions. So this video is a test. Can something weird like this make an impression? I have seen many videos stating that retail brick and mortars uh, is, a re re is a risky line of business. I would tend to agree, especially comparing to online, Amazon-style, big-box type presence. Uh, it is a very tough competition, but this wasn't always the case. There must be a way not everybody can be a laundromat. Uh, there is a strong possibility that Explorers Emporium will be doing video, a video series. We will explore how to make brick-and-mortar retail stores stronger and more successful. How can we continue to expand our social media presence to build a better business? How can we use passive income to make a better foundation? We are almost there. Thank you for helping us with this project. Check out our community page. Look for more videos from Explorers Emporium. Good luck. Happy adventuring. We're rooting for all of you. We can do this. Thank you so much. <laughs>